I wanted to talk about uh, this pistol over here. This is a, uh, uh, a gun called a uh, PA-63, and it's made by a company called FEG in uh, Hungary. And uh, the Hungarians, they wanted to be different. They didn't want to adopt the, uh, the Russian Makarov in the 60s. They adopted their own, their own particular gun. Now this, this particular gun here, it shoots the uh, 9mm Makarov uh, cartridge, just like the, uh, the uh, Russian Makarov pistol does. But it's a different design. This is a, an even closer copy of the uh, German uh, PPK pistol. Very close. And uh, what you do here is you would, I just wanted to show you that when you have an empty uh, magazine, the, uh, the slide will lock back to uh, your magazine release over here is a regular button like us Americans like. And here's your magazine. Uh, I think this is, uh, I can't remember, eight or nine rounds, maybe eight rounds, I'm not sure. Uh, this particular gun is strange. There's no, there's no slide release here. When the slide is locked back like this, you have to actually push it back and let it fly like that. There is no slide release on this, on this pistol. The other thing is when your safety is up like this, it's in fire. You can see the red mark here. When you flip it down, it's unsafe. Oops. And that's, that's just different, you know? Hold on. Well, that's not right. Yeah. So here we got fire. And that's safe. Now, normally when you put up, when you load this gun, you see that it's cocked and you flick it into safe mode. You notice it's got a decocker on it, on the safety as well. It'll, de it'll actually decock the uh, hammer for you. Now you don't have to worry about the gun shooting when it does that because there's a block on the firing pin. So uh, it's still safe. And uh, once you put it back into uh, fire, which is up instead of down, most pistols, the safety is, is when it's down, it's it's uh it's it's fire and when it's up it's it's is when it's unsafe but this is different when it's up it's it's fire and when it's down it's safe that's just strange but that's the way walther has it and this is the copy of the walther anyway so uh this is a double action single action gun and once you put it on once you load the gun and you put it on safe the uh the hammer will decock when you put it on fire again you have to fire you have to pull that trigger double action. <clears throat> Damn, that's hard. This has got one of the stiffest double action trigger pulls of, of, of any pistol I ever had, but the single action pull isn't bad. Yeah, the single action pull isn't bad, but the first double action shot you have on this gun once you take it off a safe and put it on fire is, is brutal. Uh, the other thing about this gun is that uh, it has a, it's an aluminum receiver so it's, it's quite a bit lighter than the Makarov. And here's the Makarov pistol to compare. They're sort of very close in size, uh, the, uh, but, but the uh, Makarov being all steel is much heavier pistol. This gun was designed to be carried a lot and shot very seldom because it's, it's made to be as light as possible and as compact as possible. So you've seen the safety, you've seen the uh, magazine release, you've seen the slide stop, and now we can show you the, uh, the uh, field strip, which is the same as on the Walther, it's the same as on the Makarov. You flick this guy down and move it to the side, like that, and then you just pull the slide off. Real simple. The this, this spring comes apart. You have to be careful with this, uh, this part over here. This is loose. I mean, this, this will come out real easy. This is the uh, ejector, I believe. And uh, just it's easy to clean. To put this thing back together, you just slide the top back on it all the way back and down and forward, and you take that off, you, and that's, your, that's it. That's all you have to do, field strip it. It's easy to clean, easy to take apart, easy to shoot. It'll punish you though because uh, the gun is so light. In 9x18, it's still a pretty hefty caliber. This is a straight blowback action, just like the Makarov. Uh, and that's one of the reasons why it's so punishing, is because it's a blowback pistol. 
but uh, this is a this is a decent uh, carry pistol. And the reason why I bought this back in '92 is because I only paid like $115 for it. It was pretty cheap back then. It was cheaper than a Makarov. That's one of the reasons why I got it. And uh, I've been real happy with this pistol too. But I actually like to carry the Makarov on me more than than this guy, because I'm just used to the way the safety works on this one, and I and it's it's much more comfortable for me to shoot than this guy. Uh, the sights on this are regular fixed sight. You got a you got a, a notch in the back and a, and, a, and a, a blade sight in the front, but the notch and is is much shallower than the notch on the uh, Makarov, and the blade is sort of smaller, and it's just harder to get a good sight picture on it. Like I said, this gun was made to be carried a lot and never shot. That's the way it is. Uh, but it does shoot reliably when you do shoot it. I wouldn't want to shoot it as much as I would shoot this one. I fire 50 rounds in this gun and, and I get sore. But, uh, gee, that's about all I have to say on this gun. And uh, I wanted to uh, thank the wife for making this video again for the second time because I screwed up the first one. Thank you very much.